Okay, so there was a question that came up on Measure Slack, and for those of you not familiar with Measure Slack, definitely join it. It's a great community where lots of interesting discussions are taking place in the analytics and testing and uh, tag management space. There's you know, lots of different topics here. I tend to hang out in testing, um, and, and I chime in here and there when I see Adobe Target related stuff or stuff related to test management, the MIA Provo world. So I thought I'd put together a pretty quick video. Um, a lot of people have been encouraging me to do this. So I thought I'd start kicking the tires on that. So this question comes from Jim. Great question about if you have two activities running on a page, one activity is targeted for, visit for visitors who are not in other tests and the other activity is targeted to all traffic. So this is a, a great question, like what do you expect for people first time to the site? And so I set up a couple of use case scenarios to test this, but also kind of demonstrated a little bit about the Adobe Target Profile and how those concepts come together. Uh, so this is a slide that I use for a lot of my uh, work with automated personalization to help companies understand how automated personalization, auto-target, uh, makes content decisioning based off of the profile and predictive scoring, but this is applicable here. So if you have an activity running on your site, mobile device, uh, typically anywhere except for on-device decisioning, uh, what happens is the first thing that takes place from that server call, typically called an inbox call to Adobe servers, is it makes a call to the, repos uh, the profile repository. So it, it updates the profile attributes, such as becoming a member of the test, the number of impressions, how much you spent, really uh, any of the things that you're using Adobe Target Profiles to do. So it does that first before it returns any content. So if it's a new visitor, it's going to build the profile. It's also going to uh, update the profile if it's a repeat visitor or someone who's had a previous um, server call take place. It could be within the same session where your profile uh, gets updated. So this isn't necessarily tied to repeat visitors. And so uh, you can remove this component here, the, the automated, that's more for automated personalization. But the, the profile processing takes place and the audience evaluation takes place here. And then the content is returned to the site. Um, and so this is very applicable here in terms of becoming a member of, of the activity. So I set up two scenarios here that I want to review with you and test, you, test it all. I think it would be great. So the first scenario, I set up two activities. Uh, first one is visitor is not in any other test and it has a higher priority. So that's going to be a big, big test that we're going to do here because priority, if you're not familiar with that, um, tells Adobe Target to evaluate test participation in that particular order. So when the audience processing takes place within here, the uh, it's going to go from top to bottom. Highest priority activities followed by the lowest. If priority levels are the same, it goes by date. So scenario one, um, we got these two activities. Not another test, higher priority A, and we've got all visitors priority one, uh, basically lower than activity A. So let's, let's test this out. So uh, going back to Adobe Target here, thought this was kind of interesting. Let me go over to here. So I've got these two activities. Uh, activity A, so this is, uh, let's just say here, it's targeted to visitor, uh, not in activities. This is the built-in audience within Target uh, based off of the Target profile. Um, I just got you know high priority within here. So that's activity A, let me get out of this. Don't save this, activity B. Um, what I want to highlight here, all visitors, sorry for the dog in the background. Uh, he hates when other dogs have the nerve to walk by. Um, lower priority. So that's all fine and dandy. So I have that up. Uh, I've got this activity running on a, a demo site that we use at miaproba, miaproba.io. So sorry. So I'm going to go incognito because um, I, I want to show like what it's like. I can even delete this cookie, the inbox cookie that's tied to this domain here. So I can even do that. So let me go ahead and delete that. I'm going to refresh the page and we'll see what happens. Uh, this is the Mia Provo Chrome extension, which tells you what activities you're in, what profile attributes, all that fun stuff. So refresh the page there. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let me lower this. There's my extension. I got into both activities. So uh, again, for this particular use case, activity A gets evaluated first. So it had a higher priority. And so it got evaluated first, and then this one got evaluated. So this got evaluated second. So I got into this activity um, 
which means I was eligible for this activity because I wasn't in the, my Adobe Target Profile, my PC ID was not in other activities. But after this got evaluated, I was then put into another activity. So when I refresh this page, what happens, and you can see like the, the, the order uh, by which it, it, it operates here, after I refresh the page, do, do, do. I am only in activity B for all visitors because I am no longer um, uh, I'm no longer kind of not in other activities. So I, I essentially got kicked out uh, of that activity in A for T uh, as well as non A for T. You'll have that visitor count, but no more visits or impressions will uh, increment. So let's test the inverse of this. So uh, we will uh, have uh, not, we'll lower, basically lower the priority of this, make this one and make this 99. So I'm going to go back to Adobe Target here. Do, 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 do. So I will make all visitors. I'm going to update the priority within here. And if Adobe's listening, let's move this somewhere else. This because it interferes with the buttons. So I'm going to make this 999. Do, 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 do. So if it's activity B, I'll come in here. You can edit multiple activities at the same time. I like this. That's a cool feature that's, uh, oh relatively only a couple years. I move this down to one. Okay, so just to refresh, this is scenario two. So outcome here for the first scenario, uh, let me just add this. So uh, first impression, both activities, but on subsequent, on later impressions, only in activity B due to priority. We will validate this priority settings. Okay, so now we have scenario two, um, the higher activity. So let me go back to uh, the activity locations. Okay, so that's done syncing. I'm just gonna come up here and delete my inbox cookies, which basically makes me a new visitor. Uh, so refresh this, what do we get? Do, 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 do. We only get at all activities. So this is nice, this is validation. Let me even go in incognito uh, for those of you not familiar with incognito, which is uh, basically gives you a fresh fresh playing ground, removes all cookies, but make sure you don't have other incognito uh, windows open uh, as I don't have here. So go within here. Let's open up this really helpful Chrome extension, all visitors. So uh, conclusion, um, Adobe is working as it should. Um, so uh, outcome here, only in uh, activity B because when activity A was evaluated, you know, uh, after B because of priority. Uh, so yeah, that, that's a scenario. So Adobe's working as it should. Um, there's lots of ways if you want to exclude people from other activities, you can kind of come up with mutual exclusive audiences. But this I thought was a fascinating use case. Uh, they got an opportunity to kind of highlight and show how Adobe Target does the evaluation um, here. So it evaluates all of the activities at once, but then the priority uh, plays the impact or, or, or the role into that. So um, cool question, uh, I guess. You know, add more questions to Master Slack if you if you like videos like this. So, anyways, thank you.